Do you have a confirmation number? Yeah, we do. It's right here. Excuse me? What do you think you're doing? What do you mean we're in line to get I'm, on the plane? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. Ma'am, I'm not in line. I work here, and I'll be with you in a minute. What are you doing with these people? Don't you realize I have miles with this airline? Oh, you should have said so. Well, in that case, you can go check in at the Platinum Lounge. Mom, do we have lounge access? I don't know about this lounge nonsense. Can't you see I have special needs? So does this passenger. Can't you see? I don't know why you're flying to Las Vegas. Looks like you've already had too many buffets. Ma'am, why don't you just mind your own business? Yeah, I'm not fat. I'm pregnant. Here you go. I got you an upgrade. Premium economy. Sweet. Let's go, honey. Finally! I get some service around here! Yes, we always give the best service to our Mileage Plus members. What status level are you? Mom, do we have status? Yes, we have nearly 100,000 miles. Let me look you up. What is your frequent flyer number? Oh, those miles are still on my credit card. I, I, I haven't transferred them over yet. Well, if you don't have miles in our system, what exactly is it that you want us to do for you today? Give us an upgrade like you did with that fat lady over there. <laughs> you mean that pregnant woman? And why should you get an upgrade? Well, can't you tell I have a bad sacroiliac? Why don't you go park your sacroiliac over there, and I'll see what I can do. Fine. I don't know why anybody flies this airline. You try to be nice, and look what happens. Let's go. I know, Mom. Get out. Dad, do you see that plane back there? Yeah, Russell. That's a big one. Yeah, that's the Airbus 380 the biggest passenger aircraft on this planet. Oh really? Are there bigger ones on other planets? I don't know, but it turns out that it's so hard to build, they only made 251 of them. Really? Is that what we're flying on? I mean, we're only going to Las Vegas. No, that one's a Ryanair. I don't think they fly here. All I know is this jumbo jet talk is making me hungry. Go get us something to eat. Okay, Dad. Oh, hi, Maria. Hi, Captain Connors. Are you flying to Las Vegas today? That's right. I've only been doing the Vegas run lately. Good, because I brought you a surprise. A surprise? <laughs> really, what is it? Uh, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. But I'll give you a hint. A hint? Okay, I'll bite. Maybe you will when you find out what it is. Sophia has a surprise for the pilot. What could it be? Here, Dad, your favorite. Oh, it must be hot dogs. I said his favorite. Oh, don't tell me. Chili dogs? Oh, yeah. Look at those people. What are they eating? It must be something from the snack bar. Well, they shouldn't be allowed. Well, if they sell it in the airport, I think you're allowed to eat it. Not if I have anything to do with it. I'm going to tell the airline. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? We seem to have a problem. Uh, I don't have any problem. What's yours? Those people over there. They've got chili dogs. Uh, I don't know what chili dogs are, but all animals are supposed to be checked with your bags. No, that's not what they are. They're stinky and you eat them. People with dogs in the airport? That's why we have a problem. You've got to tell them no. Yes, you're right. They can't eat them. Yes, it's that family right over there. Excuse me, but you can eat that. What? Since when can't you eat food at an airport? I'm sorry, sir, but the smell of your chili dogs is bothering this woman right there. Yeah, well, you know, the smell of her perfume is bothering me. Maybe you should kick her out. Well, sir, if you want to eat, you have to go to the restaurant right here. Oh, great. We don't have time for that. Yeah. Miss, aren't we allowed to take food on the plane? Fine, as long as you don't eat it here. 
That's okay. We already have our food. Karen has been complaining about the other passengers. What else will she complain about? Hi, I'm First Officer Cruz. Oh, you must be Chip. Yeah, today's my first day. Oh, you must be second chair with Captain Connors. I've heard a lot about him. He's a legend around here. Good luck. His last three first officers quit. Uh-oh. Oh, Ted! Look, here's our plane now. It looks like a 757-200. What's the difference between that and a regular 757? Because it typically carries 200 passengers. Unlike the 300, which carries 243 passengers under the normal configuration. That's pretty interesting, Junior. How did you learn about all this? Oh! X-Plane Flight Simulator. I played on the iPad you got me last birthday. See, honey, I told you it would be a valuable educational experience. No, you didn't. You said it would be a waste of money. Honey, over here. I knew they'd have them. Whatever makes you not nervous to fly. Let's get this one. Perfect. Hey, what's all that noise? I think he's playing a game. Well, he shouldn't be allowed. Well, Mom, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I can. I'm going to tell the airlines. Hi. Re remember me? Oh, you're the lady with the mouths on the credit card that didn't transfer to the airline. Well, when you're through being all uptight, I want to tell you about another problem. Oh, I just can't wait to hear what it is. Uh, there's a kid uh, over there making all kinds of noise playing on his iPod. And what do you suggest I do? I don't know. Make him turn it off. It's bothering my inner ear balance. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do, given your importance. <sighs> well, that's more like it. I hate to interrupt, but that woman over there says that the sound is bothering her. What noise? This is a lot more quiet than the airplanes that are taking off. Uh, whose idea was it for you to play it in the airport? My dad. He gave it to me. Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was her idea. Well, can you at least put some headphones on so I don't get any more complaints from that woman? Sure. I got some headphones in my bag. Now Karen is bothered by Russell's game. Will she ever stop? Oh, would you look at them now? What is it, Mom? Never mind. I'll take care of this. Well, that didn't work. What is it now? Those headphones he's using are bothering my daughter's hearing aids. Oh, your daughter has hearing aids? Yes. Why do you think her hair is down? Fine. I will talk to them about it. Excuse me, young man. What is it now? I hate to say this, but those headphones are bothering that woman over there. What doesn't bother her? Apparently, the headphones are bothering her daughter's hearing aids. Oh, I'm sure it's the headphones and not every other thing that's going on in this airport. Does the FAA approve headphones? <sighs> well, actually, these headphones are IEEE certified to not create interference in a consumer environment. I was just about to say that. That's very interesting, but can you just please just mute them? Yeah, if she puts herself on mute. Passengers, Totally Airways Flight 299, non-stop to Las Vegas, will now commence boarding.
Passengers, welcome to Totally Airlines Flight 225 headed to Las Vegas. Please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened and your tray tables are in the upright and locked position. Please refrain from using portable electronic devices until we reach cruising altitude. And have a nice flight. Tower, this is Totally Airlines 225 requesting permission to take off. 225, you're cleared on runway 16. Roger that tower. Hey, Monique, would you like some? Uh, what is it? It's my grandma's special recipe from my home country. It's seafood. That came all the way from your grandma? Yeah, but it's still good. It's frozen. Um, that's okay. I'm not hungry. All right. I'm gonna give it to the pilots then. The pilots? I have a special treat for you. Oh, really? What is it? That's my grandmother's recipe of Dosi Feijoada. Don't say fish kebabs? What is that? Oh, it's a special South America sweet shrimp. Sweet shrimp? That sounds good. All the way from South America? Oh, don't worry. It's frozen up. This looks like it's cold. Is it okay to eat? It's okay. You get used to it. Okay, here it goes. Last one to eat is a rotten egg. Hey, are you guys hungry? Yeah, I wonder if they're serving food. <laughs> I could go for a chili dog. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! You and I are on the same page, son. Do you like it? It's some more! Here, Captain Connors, have another one. I don't know. I'm not feeling too good. You don't want to hurt her feelings. <sighs> right. Look at him over there, eating that food. I think they're allowed to. Well, they shouldn't be, unless they brought enough for everybody. Well, I'm going to take care of this. <sighs> Hi, remember me? How can I forget? It's those people. They brought the chili dogs on the plane. OK, what's wrong with that? It's bothering all the passengers. Not me, of course. Okay, fine. I will go talk to them about it. What's with this shrimp? Can't fly any longer. Hey, Chip, I don't think I'm going to make it. it. Must have been something I ate. Russell, what's going on? It's probably just turbulence. What's turbulence? It's like a bumpy road, but in the air. Oh. There you are. It's like you've been hiding. What is it now? That kid, he's playing some kind of aircraft game. OK, so what's wrong with that? You've got to do something about it. Here, Captain Connors, I'll give you the last one. No! Captain Connors, out! Captain Connors! This turbulence is getting worse. Uh, Dad, that's not turbulence. Monique, this is First Officer Cruz. I'm afraid Captain Connors is out, and I'm about to take medical leave. Get somebody else to fly this plane. Ugh. Both pilots passed out. What's going to happen to the plane? Chip, are you there? Chip, Monique, what is wrong? The pilots, they're sick. They can't fly. It must be the airline food. I never trust that. Well, you calm down the passengers. I'm going to go try to find a pilot on board. OK. I don't think I like this airline job. Attention, passengers. If there's anyone that can fly the airplane, please report to the cockpit. What's this about needing a pilot? I don't know. Can you fly? No. Pilot? Why do they need a pilot? Oh, Mom, I'm sure it's just a formality. Formality? It's not a formality! Again, 
If there's a pilot on board, please report to any flight attendant. Oh, sir, are you a pilot? No, but my son knows how to fly. I do? Well, in that case, please come with me. Okay. Dad wants Russell to fly the plane. Now what? Follow my instructions, and we'll try and get this thing down safely. Let's start by reducing power. Okay, I'm reducing power. You're gonna need to lower the flaps. Flaps, okay, I know what that is. You're gonna need to descend. Use your trim. Oh, trim? I know what that is. Don't forget to lower your landing gear. Landing gear? Where's that? It's the knob on the floor. Oh, uh, okay. I've landed, now what? Brakes, okay, I got that, just like driving school. Passengers, we have landed safely, and thank you for flying Totally Airlines. Russell saved the passengers, but what happens when he eats too many chili dogs? I can't believe we got a free trip to England. Yeah, well that's what happens when you're a world-class athlete. World-class athletes? All we did was win the national burrito eating competition. Yeah, and that's a big deal. That's why we're going to the world championships. Well, all I know is, who can turn down a free trip? Yeah, it's gonna be a gas. <laughs> did that guy just fart? Uh, I think you need this more than me. Nah, I'm good. Mine doesn't smell. Oh, hi, are you Alexa? Oh, you must be the new flight attendant. I'm Emma, it's my first day. I'm glad you're here. We've had so many cancellations because of staff shortages. Well, great, what do you need me to do? Well, as long as you can help me rebook passengers, it'll be perfect. Yeah, I got our tickets right here. Oh, aisle. Yeah, and I got window. Dude, how'd you pull off window and aisle? Simple airline hack. I reserved the middle seat. That's genius. Thanks. Picked it up on an airline blog. Well, speaking of picking things up, I'm hungry. How are you hungry already? Well, I'm gonna get some food. Get me something too. You know, Chelsea, I haven't flown in a long time. Yeah, a lot of people have skipped it in the past couple years. Why aren't we taking the train? It's so much more enjoyable. There are no trains from here to England, Grandma. Yeah, I noticed. Well, anyway, can I see your tickets? Yes, here you go. Mail? You got our tickets in the mail? Yeah, that's the way it works. Hot dogs? Is that all they got? No, man, they got us chili dogs. You know what? I still have some heartburn. I'm gonna save this for later. Okay, man, it's your choice. It's a long flight, you know. Dude, are you sure you should be eating this? Mm-hmm. Russell's having a bad gas attack at the worst time possible. I wonder if the chili dog will calm his stomach. Grandma, these are standby tickets and boarding group seven. We have to stand on the plane? Boy, things have changed. Grandma, I'm gonna go check on these seats. Excuse me, we have standby tickets? Ooh, standby? Yeah, my grandma bought the tickets and didn't do early check-in. Well, I've got a couple cancellations, but they're not together. Well, hopefully they're close. They're only one row apart. Oh, thanks, I appreciate it. Man, that was good. Really? Are you gonna eat yours? Ugh, Dad, do we have to sit here and take this? You know what, let's go wait in line. Good idea, honey. Okay, Grandma. I have good news and bad news. Okay, what's the good news? The good news is I got us on the flight. We're going to London. Well, then what's the bad news? We're not gonna be sitting together, but we'll be close. 
Totally Airways Flight 215 with non-stop service to London Heathrow will commence boarding Group 1 at Gate 37. That's us. Time to board. No, Grandma. That's Group 1. What side is D, E, and F? It's over there, Mom. Flight 215 to London will continue boarding Groups 2 and 3 at Gate 37. That's us. Oh, group two and three. That's us. No, Grandma, we're group seven. Well, we must be getting ready to leave. Because I smell jet fuel. No. It smells more like a gas station bathroom to me. Where are our seats? Oh, row 23, right there. Oh. Oh. Mom, Dad, that's that guy from the terminal. Yeah, yeah we, we know. know. Wow, what a space. Yeah, it's so nice having empty middle. <sighs> hey man, you could really use one of these. Nah man, I'll just rub it into the seat. <sighs> is this flight still going to London? Um, yeah, it is. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, my flight to Ireland got like, canceled. I was wondering if I could get on this one. Uh, I've only got one seat left, and it's in the middle. Oh, that would be totally awesome if you could park me there. Well, we're totally psyched to have you then. Dude, what's wrong with this plane? Flight 215, final group seven, is ready for boarding. Chelsea, there are no seats. Yes, Grandma, you're in row 23, and I'm right behind you in row 24. Well, at least we're close. Did you say something? Um, no. Oh. Totally passengers, it's really important for you to put all the stuff you brought with you away so you can either put them up here in these things or, or down there, under there. Chelsea, can you open your window? It smells like jet fuel. The windows don't open, Grandma, and that's not jet fuel. Oh, do you think we can move seats? Oh, I don't know, it looks pretty full up there, honey. That's not the only thing that's full. Totally Airlines, flight 215 to London, requesting permission to take off. Passengers, prepare for takeoff. Please make sure your tray tables are in the upright and locked position, and make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened. Oh, it sounds like we're taking off. Yep, that's right, we're, we're taking off. No, Grandma, I think something else is taking off. Hey, Gabriel, do you have that extra chili dog? Uh, yeah. You sure you want this? Yeah. What do you expect me to do without food? Something on this plane smells really bad. Oh, I got an upset stomach. Oh, hold this. Gotta use the bathroom. Huh? What's this? Low oxygen in a cabin? The sensor must not be working. Russell's gas is so bad that it's messing up the oxygen sensors on the plane. Hey man, are you finally done in there? Yeah, it's all yours. Something is wrong with this plane. I can barely breathe and it smells like shit. Yeah, we, we know. know. Deploy oxygen masks. What? Oxygen masks aren't working. Alexa. Yes, Captain. I'm afraid we have a problem with the oxygen on the plane. No oxygen? Yes, I need you to make an emergency announcement. Okay, I understand. I'll make the announcement. What's wrong? You stay here. I'll fill you in in a minute. Passengers, due to an unexpected aircraft malfunction, we're going to have to make an emergency landing. We're going to have to deplane in Greenland, but don't worry, we will continue to London as soon as we can.
What? Emergency landing on my first day? Finally, we're off that plane. I don't have to hold it in anymore. Uh, let me go first, dude. It smells like a sewer in here. Oh! Oh, come on, Grandma, let's get out of here. I told you we should have taken the train. 